Hi everyone, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. I'm Filippo and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. In this tutorial, we will learn something about uh, multi-signature accounts and how we can use easily this uh, type of accounts using the Polkadot.js user interface. This tutorial is focused on the easiest way to use multi-signature account using the Polkadot.js UI. What we're gonna do is to use the multi-signature account ABC made of Alice, Bob and Charlie to transfer funds from ABC to Dan. So let's go to the Polkadot.js user interface. We are on the West End testnet, which means that we will uh, use West End tokens that do not carry any economic value, which means that if something goes wrong, we don't lose any money. We already have here the ABC multi-signature account with five West End tokens. It's important to understand that multi-signature accounts, they are keyless and deterministic, which means Keyless means that uh, it do doesn't have any private key and deterministic means that if we lose the account, if we, if we remove the account, we can still recover it. Let's do a test. We can forget this account. All right, we don't have this account anymore on the UI, but um, it's still existing. To add it, we go to multisig. We select Alice, Bob and Charlie. The threshold is two, which means that we need the two approval to authorize a transaction. We add the name ABC and we create it. We can see that the account is still there with uh, all the funds. How we do a multi-signature transaction? First, we click on send. Then uh, we select uh, ABC and we want to send to Dan one Western token. We click make transfer. We can sign this transaction using the three accounts of the multi-signature. We can choose Alice and we need to copy this information about the call data. This is exactly the information about the balance transfer from ABC to Dan of one West End token. We will need this information later on to approve this transaction. We click sign and we use Alice account. We can see here a small icon with the pending approvals. We can click and there is an existing pending approval from Alice, which is basically the depositor of this uh, multi-signature call. We can either approve this call or cancel. We can cancel it using Alice account or we can approve it using the remaining signatories. We can select Bob and here we need to paste the call data we just copied before. This is exactly the, the call data about the balance transfer of one Western token. We approve it and we sign it using Bob account. We can see here on ABC we have four Western tokens remaining. We started with five. The multi-signature transfer went well. So what we just uh, did is we use Alice to submit the multi-signature call containing the balance transfer call of one West End token from ABC to Dan. We then use Bob to approve this uh, multi-signature transfer and actually free the one West End token from uh, the multi-signature ABC and send it to Dan. All right, I hope uh, you learned something today about uh, how to easily transfer with multi-signature accounts and uh, I see you in the next video.